the year 2000, your year 2000, great year for any golfer, uh, but probably not how you wanted it to turn out. You end up finishing second in the Masters to Vijay Singh by three strokes, then second to Tiger in the U.S. and British Opens by a combined 23 by strokes. Many, yeah. How personally challenging was that year for you? Um, you know, I that year I came back from 99 was one of my worst years. You know, I think 99, and I'm not sure if I made the top 30, you know, uh, the Tour Championship. I might have, I might not have. But 99 wasn't a great year for me. And I've really wanted to come back with a bang in 2000. You know, it was the after the birth of Samantha and really felt motivated for 2000. And, and from, that, from the first tournament, you know, it was kind of, I finished second to Tiger there when he beat me in the playoff. And then, you know, later on, you know, so I, I think you said, I, I think I had six finish, second place finishes that year. Only won one tournament, I think it was at the International, and most of them to Tiger. And that was the year when he really showed us, you know, just he, how unbelievable he is. And um, the one at the US Open where I finished second, I just fell in there. You know, I just made the cut, played a really good third round in high winds. I think I shot 68. Went from making the cut to finish going to the last round uh, in the last group with Tiger. Already, I don't know how many behind. So I wasn't really in the tournament. And then I didn't play a great fourth round. Uh, subsequently lost by 12 shots, <laughs> but finished second. So it's really just a, a number. I was never really in the tournament. At the, at the Open Championship, you know, I had a great first round and, um, and then didn't quite keep it going and, you know, he wins by eight. I think he beat me by eight shots there. So there again, not really in a tournament. And, and people made a big deal about it. You know, it's only, I finished second, but it, I was only in the tournament once, uh, was at Augusta. The rest, I was just kind of playing the background role. So it was... Um, you know, I didn't think much of it at that time. You know, I just knew that this guy was really on his game and I needed to get a little bit better. One more of these and I, I promise to move on. The 2004 Masters, uh, what was it like sitting on that green unaware of what was really going on with Phil Mickelson? Yeah, I think 2004 was a lot more disappointing than 2000. You know, 2004, you know, I had a little, I had a legitimate chance to win all four that year. You know, finishing second to Tiger, uh, uh, excuse me, to Phil in, in, uh, at the Masters, uh, playing a really, one of my best rounds ever, I thought, you know, in that final day, making two eagles, making really, some really clutch putts, making birdies on the back nine, and then Phil coming through and beating me, you know, making that great putt on 18. That really hurt. The U.S. Open really hurt because I was playing great golf at that time and then, you know, really had played a disastrous final day where my good friend Ratif won. And then um, at the Open, I felt I really should have won, you know, and Todd Hamilton just stuck in there, stuck in there. I was waiting for him to go away. <laughs> he wouldn't go away. Um, and I missed quite a few shots and I felt I should have made and lost that playoff. And then at the PGA, you know, I had three part of the last green to be out of the playoff there. So that that year really hurt me uh, as bad as anything I've, I've ever experienced on the golf course.